All right, starting here at Mugello with the McLaren. Um, this McLaren is extremely good in acceleration, and we need to get past. We, we can easily get past the BMWs, but we need to get past everyone, especially past the third. Oh dear. Past the third Lotus vehicle, because in this case we just don't have speed at all to keep up with these guys. And so that means we just need to try to get past the Lotus, no matter how. And uh, definitely that was not my intent. I did not want to crash into this guy, but since I did, that's the way of life in this world. And just making sure that we can just maintain traction, our tires is cold, and our vehicle is so much heavier than that Lotus, that it just makes it very difficult along, along this um, highly sinuous track to be able to do anything good. And as you can see, I'm already exceeding the limits of my vehicle because the tires just won't give any more traction. And that's just the problem with this car, you know, just with the weight. Um, the tires just lack traction in general, and I'm just not able to dive around the corners as one needs to do around this track. And that means that we're really struggling for pace here around Magello. Now, I'm not sure if we're be we'll be able to actually gain a podium just because of the fact that this position is so tenuous. As you can see, I'm just trying to maintain my speed and just losing is because the tires are not warmed up yet. That means I don't have the grip that's necessary to be able to keep up with that Lotus. So I need to kind of like point and shoot and there I completely lost my momentum for whatever reason. I don't know what I was thinking, but I have not maintained my momentum at all. You can just see my car sliding all over the track. It's not able to maintain traction just because we don't have any arrow or very little to speak of as we turn around in the corners. And that means that we're just not able to punch through as quickly as we need to be able to. So we're going to try to make the try as wide as possible and as quick as possible by cutting the corners as much as possible. But I don't know how much is possible <laughs> to keep up with this Lotus. Now we do have an advantage, and the advantage is on the straight that comes right up ahead. But unfortunately, that straight is preceded by a very long curve that is extremely difficult for our McLaren to negotiate just because of the weight of this car. So we're just trying to get around the curve as much as we can so that we can punch through and accelerate at the end of the curve and be able to maintain traction on the straight. Now you can see that already the vehicle ahead of us is just so much further just because of the fact that they're able to negotiate the turns and this is this time that's hard to to recuperate you know just because we're trying to get closer to this guy but he just keeps getting away so we're going to try to play to our strengths here and use the straights as much as we can but it just doesn't work that well you know like you just need to be able to have some some speed around the corners if you want to maintain your momentum so it's challenging to maintain your momentum along with this vehicle and you can see that we're already losing time for the guy ahead of us just because of the fact that we're not able to maintain as much momentum as the guy in front of us is. So we're going to try to use our oversteer advantage with the positioning of the motor to be able to get in front, but I highly doubt that we're able to do that. However, the car does um, is, is able to oversteer, which is good. Now we're all, already going low on fuel, however it's being calculated that 10 liters is much ideal for this type of scenario so we're going to be fine in that respect but I'm worried about being able to catch up to this car and I'm just not sure how we're going to be able to do it as you can see it just tends to slide through and you know as we slide we're not gaining any speed so that's bad for us plus I seem to have been on the wrong gear there and wow it's gone way too deep in that curve I have no idea why like it's, it's just so difficult to maintain traction that we're just spinning all over the place and not able to get ahead you know and at least the good thing is that here in this situation, we are about just about maintaining our position with this guy. And we should be able to get a little closer as we're able to gain some speed through the corners. But this is, you know, just such a difficult thing. And I'm even cheating to be able to try to maintain and not fall into the sandpits just because it's so difficult to get speed in this car. You just cannot maintain any momentum compared to the Lotus, which is so much lighter. So we're going to try to punch out at a good speed here to be able to get him on the acceleration but already we've lost half the battle by going around that long wide sweeping turn we are just losing time we're just bleeding time and that makes it just so difficult for us to keep fourth in this race actually we don't want to be fourth we want to be third but uh we just want to keep going we want to keep going fourth in terms of points so 
let's see what we can do here. We've got a good punch out in second gear, which I think should be beneficial to us. So as I go around here, I'm going to want to punch out the same way. So I think that one thing I need to learn about this is to be able to maintain the speed that I'm not losing all my momentum, but at the same time, um, not losing, not, um, you know, just make sure that I'm slowing down enough so that I don't do this. Because I'm, if I'm always on a power slide, I'm just losing so much time. And the guy in front is just able, and I'm just losing my tires in the process. But this doesn't help us at all. We've lost just so much time just because of that single power slide. It's just crazy to think about it. We're just not able to keep up with this car. It's just so much better. And, you know, this car just won't turn. This, that's the story of the whole thing. So I think that all these laps are just enough to prove that we're able to stay behind this vehicle. No problem, but we're just not able to get ahead or change our position. And in this respect, that means that we don't have enough to be able to make any gains in terms of positions on the podium. So at this point, I'm just going to try to maintain our lead. Though I gotta say about this car, it's nice that it's able to drive rel relatively easily. But I'm, I'm struggling to keep it on track just because its weight uh, and uh, general maneuverability is just lacking. You know, and it, as you can hear, the, the tires are just screeching all the time. And because of that, it's, it's hard to know when I can stop and I can start going a little bit faster or not. Just because the tires won't give me any acceleration. Going to the absolute limit of what's available here at the moment. I'm going to break a little bit early, I guess. But we're just going to try to, oh dear, to maintain the traction as long as we can. And uh, go as quickly as we can on exit. So we probably could gain a couple of kilometers out on the exit here and uh, probably out on the other uh, turn as well but this is just you know the odds are just stacked against us I feel like on this track we're just not, not going to excel against the Lotus just because of the difference in weight so this is our opportunity here to get a little bit closer to the Lotus I feel like if we drove perfectly we might be able to gain some advantage but obviously we're not driving quite to the degree required to be able to do so well on this track. So we would need to continue to learn this track and just, you can see just by uh, the couple of turns that we had ahead of us, he's just able to gain by the fact that he's able to turn in so much more quickly, whereas our car just refuses us to be able to do anything. So I think I can maintain speed, and then surprise, surprise, the car goes and swats out. So unfortunately, the tire's not giving us anything to play with today and uh, I think that our tires are, are dead at the moment and it's probably why our traction is suffering and we won't be able to make any more gains but let's see if we can hold our position we don't seem to have anyone fighting for our position near behind us so that means we're at a good place where we can just kind of cruise the finish line uh, gain some points for this championship and, s and better luck next time because that means that we can probably get to a track that is <laughs> going to play to our strengths have longer straights and um, just be able to beat some vehicles instead of being behind them, which is kind of a difficult business right now. At least we're fourth out of nine, but you know, all this fourth place, all we've done to gain it is a first lap wonder and actually a first stretch wonder because of the fact that we were not able to get past this Lotus afterwards in the first few seconds of the race, then afterwards it's just a, a lost cause. We just can't make it. I suppose that McLaren is trying to sell us vehicles here by uh, giving this series, but in fact it's not really working. It doesn't seem to be uh, helping their sales at all at this point because we are not able to lab anybody. But I suppose it's normal in a series. There are some strong cars for certain things. Oh, as we just exceed the limits and try to push it past what it's capable of taking, we almost break traction completely and we'll go through the final lap in fourth position. 